was spoken a long time ago all down through the ages those words still go on the voice of the master has never been silent for those words are still living Speaking today, the word was spoken a long time ago, all down through the ages, those words still go on, the voice of the master has never been silent, for those words are still living and speaking today. Every promise is mine. Every promise is mine. Lord, I don't understand, but by faith I receive. Every promise is mine. Every promise falling in love with the Lord through his word. When we read it aloud, we hear the heart of God. We hear the voice and the character of Jesus, the very expression of his words. There's a knowing of the depth of what he speaks. There is healing because it is life. There is anointing that destroys the yokes. There is a lightness that lifts the burdens. There is a foundation that we can stand on. It is the rock that is solid, that never can be shaken or moved. It is fire that consumes the hardest of hearts and can melt mountains like wax. It is stillness and peace 
that silences every other voice. And yet it is like a stirring that causes us to move forward. Like the roar of a lion or like thunder that breaks through the clouds. It has authority. It is solid ground, yet it is, is as deep and wide as an ocean, with love and mercy and grace that is as far as the east is from the west. It is creative and sustaining. It is light that cannot be hidden. It is like a whirlwind causing everything to shift, yet it is a foundation that causes us to stand unmovable. Some say it is confusing and it contradicts itself. Yet to the ear that is inclined and tuned, it is perfect harmony. Like an instrument finely tuned to the trained ear, like a tuning fork hits the perfect chord, so the word of God is to the spirit of man. The ear can never be closed. We don't choose what our ears hear, but we choose what we listen to. What is your mind tuned to? Is it responding to the harmony of life? Or is it living in the static of the world? Like a radio, we have to tune in. We are a transistor. When we tune in to the sound of the Word of God, we are tuning into the frequency of life, the wavelength of creation. The Word of God breathes wisdom, insight, and it inspires us, guides us, instructs us. It is like water like hot, soapy water that breaks down the dirt and the grime, but at the same time, it is like the cool, crystal clear, the pure water that satisfies the thirst on a hot summer day. There is no contradiction, only to the narrow-minded who think they already know all there is to know. It is gentle, like a lullaby to a crying baby. Yet it is like a hammer that breaks the rock in pieces. It is the very character of the Son of God. It is like a mirror to the soul that never lies. It shows us our ugliness of sin and shame, what we are really like. Yet it calls us beautiful, holy and blameless in his sight. It demands justice that cannot be denied, yet it offers us mercy and grace without measure. Without it, we can do nothing, yet with it, we can do all things. People can quote the word, and it is like water off a duck's back. Others speak it, and it is like oil pouring over the soul. The truth of the word can be bitter and hard to swallow to the wicked, yet it is like honey to the righteous. The word was in the beginning, and nothing was made without him. So, as much as has been created, so much greater is the Creator. All of creation is held together with the word of His power. So I have come to this conclusion that the word of God is the expression of the Creator to His creation. It is so deep with knowledge and wisdom that as the earth is only a speck in the universe, so is the mind that has not tuned into the word, but lost in all the static. A fool has said in his heart, there is no God. 
When we look at creation, the Lord is speaking. But we worship creation itself, not the Creator. How small our minds are, how closed in we are when we think that we know better than God. How arrogant to tell God how things should be. We cannot question God's power, yet he tells us to ask for his wisdom. When we judge another, we determine how we will be judged. We are ensnared by our own words, yet we are set free by speaking his. Men worry about the details of their days, yet never consider eternity. They complain about one bad thing, but forget to be thankful for the many good things. This one thing I know for sure. His word endures forever. <laughs>